Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a MX Linux bootable USB drive. The first thing you need to do is open a web browser and within Google search for MX Linux. You're looking for the site with the uh, web address https colon forward slash forward slash mxlinux.org and the title will be MX Linux uh, Midway Simple Stable Desktop OS. Click on the link when you see it. The web page describes MX Linux as a cooperative venture between the anti X and MX Linux communities. It is a family of operating systems that are designed to combine elegant and efficient desktops with high stability and solid performance. MX's graphical tools provide an easy way to do a variety of tasks. While the live USB and snapshot tools inherit from anti X add impressive portability and remastering capabilities. Extensive support is available through videos, documentation, and a friendly forum. There are three versions of MX Linux available. There's the XFCE, KDE, and Fluxbox versions um, with those desktops included. Click on the download link at the top of the web page to download the version of MX Linux that you wish to install to a USB drive. You'll see that the three versions are available. There's uh, XFCE, KDE, and uh, Fluxbox. What you will also see is that for XFCE, uh, there is the X64 version, which is for 64-bit. There is the 386 version for 32-bit, and there's the AHS version for advanced hardware support, which is basically the same as the um, X64 version, but uh, with a newer version of the kernel. For the purposes of this demo, I'm choosing the AHS version uh, because when I install it on my computer, I will need the newer kernel uh, for the updated Wi-Fi drivers that will be available for my machine. Uh, but feel free to choose any version uh, that you so choose. You will now be redirected to another site called SourceForge, which will start a countdown timer and start downloading the version of MX Linux that you have chosen. The ISO image for MX Linux will now start to download. We can now move on to the next step, which is to download Etcher, which will enable you to burn the MX Linux ISO to the USB drive. In the address bar, type etcher.io, that's E-T-C-H-E-R dot I-O. When the Etcher website loads, click on the download link. Uh, four versions will become available. Uh, there's the installed version, which you will install to your computer for Windows. There's a portable version, which you can install to a USB drive. Uh, there is the macOS version if you are using macOS, or there's the Linux version if you are using uh, another version of Linux. Uh, click on the appropriate download link for your computer. Uh, in this case, I'm using Windows 11, so I'm choosing the Windows link. Uh, when you're sure the uh, ISO image is finished downloading and it is finished downloading, open Windows Explorer and then navigate to your Downloads folder. Double click on the item that says Belina Etcher Setup. When the Bellina Etcher license agreement screen appears, click I agree. It is worth noting that at this stage, the installer may actually minimize itself so you don't see it. But if you look along your uh, Windows taskbar, there is an icon for Bellina Etcher setup. And if you click it, you'll see the progress bar as you'll see on my screen. Uh, when Etcher has finished installing, an icon will appear on the desktop. Uh, you can just double click on that icon and Etcher will load. At this point, you need to insert a blank USB drive into your computer or a USB drive that has data that you don't need anymore. Uh, Etcher will wipe the drive in order to install MX Linux to it. Click on the flash from file uh, button and then from the downloads folder, select the MX Linux ISO that you downloaded previously. Click the select target button and choose the USB drive that you wish to install MX Linux to. Click the flash button and Etcher will write MX Linux to the USB drive that you have selected. This is a two stage process. The first stage flashes the image to the USB drive and the second stage validates that the image has been written correctly to the USB drive. Uh, the actual process takes quite a while so you can uh, go away, get yourself a drink, come back in about 15 to 20 minutes and then the process should be complete. 
It is worth noting that Etcher can be used to create USB drives from many different uh, Linux distributions. If you can just find the download link for the uh, ISO that you want to install to the USB drive, then you can install that version of Linux using Etcher in most cases. A message will appear saying that the flash is complete and you can now use your MX Linux USB drive. All you have to do is reboot your computer and before the computer boots up, press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu and then choose the USB drive that you want to use and then a grub menu will appear and you should be able to use MX Linux. That is the end of the video. Next time I will show you how to use your USB drive to install MX Linux to a computer. Alternatively, if you would like to try MX Linux in a virtual machine, check out the video linked above which shows you how to do this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from Everyday Linux user, please click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.